Ham to Willie Green with an update on Zion Williamson. He's going to get some imaging on it tomorrow, and we'll, we'll figure out more. Um, that's the report that I got back. I haven't see, talked to him or um, anything like that, but we'll see how we feel. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we get the results back. You know if it was a knee or foot? Uh, I, did, I, I couldn't tell. I, I don't know if it was a knee, foot. Um, so once tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have more of an update of, of what's going on with him. Uh, there's a ton of swings in that game. I mean, what are just your emotions coming down from it? Obviously, tough loss for us. Um, the guys battled. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of that group, how they fought. They hung in there, and we got back in the game by just simply upping our physicality, keeping them out of our paint, and being scrappy. Um, we fell short in, in the end, and uh, that's the disappointing part. Um, but, you know, we got to fill this one tonight and regroup and get ready for another one. I mean, just a monster Zion game. How tough was it not to have him those those last three minutes after what he did? It was tough. It was tough to to see him go down. Um, you know, we're all praying and hoping that he's okay, but he was battling. He was going, and uh, the team was was right there with him. So it, it's tough. We'll see what happens, and we'll go from there. And Willie really didn't use uh, Bi much late down the stretch. What kind of went into that decision? Um. I just like the group that was on the floor at the time. And um, B.I. is still getting back. He's still get, finding his rhythm. Uh, so I didn't want to force the issue. And I like the group that was going. They, they had some momentum going there. And did you see when the design injury happened? Was it when he made the basket over AD, or was it something that happened after? I think it was that. I think he drove to the basket and something happened um, as far as the injury. But I, 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 once again, I don't know exactly what it was um, and when he did it, but it looked like it was at that moment. And obviously for it to end like that was, was disappointing, but just what was really special about the way he performed tonight, scoring 40, you know, in his first postseason appearance? He was fantastic. Um, he settled into the game. He just continued to attack. He found seams. He rebounded the ball. He played fast. And um, when he's attacking like that, he, he's, he's a tough matchup for anybody. And... Um, you know, we have him for a few more minutes. You know, maybe we have a chance to, to pull this thing out. And obviously he had it going pretty much the whole night, but what do you think they did to make it difficult for basically everybody else to score? They're a good defense. Uh, they they pressure you. They funnel everything to Davis in the paint. LeBron is sagging off playing kind of free safety. So they do a good job, that tandem, of making you take tough shots. But once we got stops, once we, were, we upped our physicality, now – the pressure was on them. We had them on their heels offensively, and we were getting out in transition and attacking. Well, what's kind of your message to the team after a loss like that? The same that I said here. Um, it's a tough loss. We're all going to feel this tonight, uh, but we're all proud of our group and how they fight. They battle to the end, and we made our adjustments. We responded in the right way. We just came up short. The biggest lead tonight was 18, uh, the group that was out there uh, with Jose. Can you speak to like his game tonight and the way he was able to kind of change the game for you guys? I mean, you guys saw his impact on the floor. Jose is a fierce competitor. Every time he steps on the floor, practice, game, it doesn't matter. He's going to give me everything he got. He gives his teammates everything he has, and he's a gamer. He, he loves big-time moments. At the end of the game there, um, they know you need a three, so they're trying to run you off the line. Uh, what's your general take on like that quick two, taking what you got versus knowing you need a three to get the three of them? Well, we were down four, right? So down four with 14 seconds left. We're trying to extend the game, hoping that they miss a free throw. Uh, so we're going for a quick two, try to go for a steal, jump ball, foul, and kind of in that order. Uh, we couldn't get to a steal or a jump ball, so we fouled immediately, but they made their free throws. and. You know, we try to go for another quick two, more free throws. So you're trying to extend the game as long as you can to get, give yourself an opportunity. Hopefully they miss one. Now you can get a three up. You guys kind of had a complete 180, and you were the one who dominated the Lakers in the paint, yet they almost shot twice as many free throws as you. Just yeah. talk about how you think about the physicality of the game was not what called. Without getting in trouble. <laughs> um, I don't feel like we've gotten a great whistle all season. 
That's just that's how I feel when I watch the games. We're one of the teams that dominate the paint night in and night out. We have a, a, a physical dominant force in Zion along with others, and um, it just seems like we're not getting those calls. All right, thank you.